Hmm. Okay, you guys. I think it's officially time for me to share my side of the story. So here goes nothing. What's popping, family? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Footprints with Abbe here. I'm the Abbe in this equation. For those of you guys who are returning service, welcome back. For those of you guys who are new service, welcome to the family. For the Lucas the Watchers, those guys, respectfully, do better. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, and do enjoy today's video. Two, one. Story robber and authentic Robert and authentic Okay guys so have been talking y'all have been in my dms you guys are calling me an inconsistent queen but here's my side of the story guys listen life gets busy life throws punches it gets hectic and i've been an inconsistent queen that's true but it's not on purpose i have been creating content in my absentia so my side of the story is that while it appears that I'm an inconsistent queen, I'm really not an in inconsistent queen, okay? I have been filming. I have filmed so much content for you guys. I have filmed literally from December I've been filming, right? I just have not sat down to edit videos for you guys. So you will catch up on my life fully because I will start editing those videos and posting them for you. And I know, guys, I know I said this in January already that I'll edit videos and post them for you guys. But um, I think I'm ready now. I think I've had a good four months sabbatical from YouTube. And I think I can get back in, not four months, I think three months. I think I can get back in there now and be a consistent queen. But anyway... I am not an inconsistent queen, guys. I'm very consistent. I've been filming. Um, I hope that you guys can fully, fully forgive me. But I also hope that you guys are going to be consistent queens yourself in sharing the content and making sure my videos also, you know, fit the YouTube algorithm, get shared, and so on, and make sure that it can appear on everybody's feed by sharing, by liking, by doing the most. So do better, gang. Do better. Share it on Instagram, share it on your WhatsApp statuses, on your family groups, everywhere. So that, you know, your girl can pick up again. You know, also get the self-confidence to get back on the streets. For those of you guys who have remained with me, although I have not been posting, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. But I'm back. I'm going to start posting videos again. You know, I'm hopeful. But anyway, today is Easter Sunday. You guys should be forgiving. Not Easter Sunday, but Easter Monday. You guys should be truly forgiving. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ has risen for your sins. Do not be an unforgiving person. <laughs> so anyway, today I'm going to be joined by Hishi in a video where we just... We really don't know what we're going to sit and do. But we just figured as a comeback video, I should bring one of you guys' favorites. I'm pretty sure you guys love Hishi more than me at this point. Like when we're out and about, everyone goes like, oh my god, Hishi, Amy sister. I'm like standing right next to her, but nobody cares. So I brought your favorite back and we're going to figure out what we're going to talk about tonight. So enjoy the rest of the video. Notice how we're wearing matchy matchy. Like black on black. Black on black. Melanin popping. It's me looking here already. <laughs> That's the drama. Anyway, guys, I have your favorite here. Um, we think we decided that we're just gonna do question game. Like we're just gonna ask each other random questions that come at the top of our heads because um, we didn't prepare for this video, but we figured it's time to film again. So that's what we're doing. Initially, we wanted to do a mukbang, like a seafood mukbang, or to do like the spicy noodle challenge. But I get a feeling you guys will see a spicy noodle challenge on this. Channel. Channel, but then I think we should do it the four of us. Like the four things. 
that'll be cool but like what's your what's your guys' take on it like all of us the four of us yeah my siblings and i to do like a spicy the spicy noodle challenge i think that would be fun yeah right or the or the shandy even let us know in the comment section okay let us know all the videos that you guys want us to do as the four things yeah because i think for me i also want us to do the the who knows who better than the powder shandy we smack each other with the powder thing i think that would be quite fun yeah. so okay first question what's the color of your toothbrush purple why i don't know was it a gift <laughs> no it wasn't a gift it wasn't a gift um, I had to choose between purple and green. I don't like green like that. I know you love green, but I don't love green like that. So it's purple and white. So yeah, that's the color of my toothbrush. Oh, that's very random. Yeah, that's super super random. Just to get it started. Yeah, okay. just chill. Like a, like a young icebreaker. Mm. Like okay, okay, cool. Okay. Um, yo, feels weird. I feel like I know all of you. Hmm. Yeah, no. Do lies, you know. lies, lies. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She does not know me at all. Okay. Um, my question to you is, um, how are you currently finding juggling school and work, and being a co-parent, and being an auntie, and being a girlfriend, and not being kind of like a mini influencer? <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you finding life? Is it it gets difficult sometimes to be honest it gets overwhelming but then i cry about it i listen to music and then we continue moving so i think if, if there's something that i'm doing right is i wake up and i'm like one step at a time everything still needs to get done so wake up get to these places just get through the day so that's how i'm going, going about it no guys, when I'm saying that she's really navigating school and work, she's really navigating school and work. She works night shifts. That's how intense it is. And she has a whole school. Two schools, by the way. I don't know how you do it, bro. You're you are like... So woman. Could never be me. I need an award. Yeah. <clears throat> What's your take on going out to places where everybody knows you? Oh my god. Guys? Guys, let me tell you. This is not a thing of like, I don't, okay, I don't like people. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not like I don't like people. I actually generally don't like people like that. Like, I don't think I need to like people. I love people, but I don't need to like them like that. Okay. Right? So, it gets a bit overwhelming. Like, hi, 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 hi. And then I'm just like, oh my God, I want to go home now and go hide in a shell. Because it almost feels like my social battery is running out with the more highs I say. Hmm. Right? But... Hey, it depends who I'm running into also. Some people are just good and they carry good energy and it's lovely to run into them. But it's a bit awkward when everybody just, when you just chill where you know everybody. Also, why are you chilling where everybody is? Don't you want to get to know new people? Don't you want to get to know new spaces? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. We, we went chilling that past weekend and we got to see a lot. We walked into a place and we knew everybody was a bit like oh you know I'm the type of energy again. yeah it was overwhelming it's quite overwhelming but yeah i don't know if but we got through it though. we did it we did it and yeah and because for, for me i like to like dance and be like free i don't want people to be like no i mean you don't dance like that on youtube someone actually said that i uh, no hate to you i love you. you you were very nice you were the best bartender ever but like it's just one of those things like oh no you know me yeah you know, like like that it's, it's a bit it's a bit off yeah yeah okay it's 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 fun being new but then it's also not fun being new outside yeah. because then everybody's like oh that's oh, oh. Ew, that's like all the youtuber mm, so oh, that's how she goes about life it's like i'm human i go out i want to go dance um, I wanna chill with my girls. You guys make it seem like, oh, we no chill, Amba. I'm so, what do you mean, oh, we no chill, Amba? Like, aren't you a church girl? What do you mean? I'm a <laughs> church girl and I also like to dance. What do you mean? What are you saying? Okay. So, yeah, no. What, 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 that song should start playing. Go easy. <laughs> it really go easy on me. <laughs> really so, go yeah, easy no. on me. Let's, let's stop being so much, so judgmental. But anyway, um, Hishi, on that note, right, hmm. what is your current favorite one blood song that you can like groove on like just at the, the 
the moment it just goes one blood song guys i love all one blood songs but as of lately i don't even like really like because you're not proving the problem is you're not proving guys please invite us out clearly we need to but also <laughs> no lesson maybe we need to get out of our shells mm. maybe that's the problem maybe we are really really home bodies and that's where the danger is yeah right because we really like to stay at home we are those people so when we go out we're a bit like hey this is it mm. maybe we need to go out more right my favorite my current favorite oh boy what But I don't even listen to one blood these days. I'm actually listening to Mangaro more. Okay, so what's your current favorite Mangaro song? Mm. Now that you're asking me, nani? Oh, maybe it's Mbale Mbale now. Mbashu shi. At the top of my head, all a few songs already mm. popped up. Like, like what? Um, for uh, one blood. blood? Okay, here How was your experience with your trip to SA? Oh guys, oh yeah, so I went to SA. Um and I attended a Bethel concert. So I remember going to um the Burner Boy show and your boy came for me in my in my comments ne. Mm. Woo! Woo! In my DM like especially and on my comments and my videos they came for me and they are like, "Yeah, they put scriptures. Boss, they put scriptures." And they were like, Yeah. It's kind of like they've made it seem like you're worshiping Burner. Like I'm not worshiping Burner. That's not what I'm doing. But then I mean I did understand where they were coming from and whatever, but I'm always like guys, we cast stones so easily. Like we don't think which I need. Like I'm doing this. Like let me work out my salvation. Mm. You don't need to be you know you you really think that I have been a born again Christian since I was 12 and I do not have accountability. Yeah. You don't think I have leaders in my life. Like it's quite wild, right? It's it's truly wild. But anyway, that's not the question. The question was how was my Bethel experience? Yo guys, I've never felt the energy, the energy net with 17,000 people worshiping, praise and worshiping God like how does wow. It was just mind blowing. It was my first concert like a worshiping concert for same in the Joyce Meyer one that was here mm. remember the one we went to but this one was just it slept different guys it was like i sat on that bus for 23 hours just to go and experience bethel music and when they played you make me brave and when they played like all of the songs you just think okay. sorry guys i think just got unexpected but i was just talking about like how i was sitting there and i was just like wow god i see you i see what you're doing in me like i don't care how much punches um life throws i know that you're good you know cuz that song um you are good is by bethel as well mm. and you know so it's seen in like you are good you're good and i'm just like oh my god lord you are good like i'm here this is happening and oh i give you all the glory and i'm so grateful for the life that you've given me i'm so grateful for everything that i get to experience the good the bad the ugly and i'm so grateful for the bad because they make me appreciate the good so much more cuz how do you feel good if you've never felt bad mm. you know so sure, sure, sure. that really ah uh, it did something for me and i was just like yeah that concert was lit <laughs> it was lit and ah uh, you know when you're standing with people and everyone is just like they're just lost no one cares about who's voice and whatever but i surround with people who can sing so i was just feeling i'm like you can just feel good but like yo okay enough about bethel but yes that was that was my perfect experience it was it was absolutely amazing okay okay i'm going to ask you another deep question because i really um love asking you deep questions okay so for those of you guys who don't know he she is kind of like a Um she's kind of like I'm kind of like the little sister and she's actually 
the older sister. Like all of my siblings, like I feel like I should have been born last. Cause... Uh, uh. Yeah, yes. he's home alone. That is, she's on the phone again. Here again. In another video. Abhay is here. She's, she's recording <laughs> her YouTube stuff. <laughs> again, she is on a, on a phone call again during our video session. I'm just saying. Anyway, sorry. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Like I am the, I have decided that I'm the younger sister now. Like with just five years experience, I'm supposed to be the last one with five years experience, right? So, um, actually, I need to ask you, like, how is it navigating being the youngest but having to carry the weight of almost the oldest, at least not the oldest, but like the older person. Like you get to carry like some heavy things because I tell her everything right so how do you get to navigate that because I feel like sometimes I'm like you know maybe you shouldn't share everything like that with you but I also don't see any other way like I'm like that with my siblings they kind of like just know everything because I'm like how are you going to carry me if you don't truly know what's going on and I think we have that open door policy in general so I just wanted to know like how do you navigate it because you are like that for everybody your friends included and literally the field that you're studying requires that of you so i think it's something that you do because you genuinely it's who you are but like how is navigating that for you <laughs> with you guys i it comes up naturally because mm. when we lost our mom i felt like it was sort of my fault sort of mm. ish so I'm always like, I need to now step up and be the mom and carry all of you because if I wasn't born, maybe she would have lived longer than you guys would have had your mom mm -hmm. for a longer period. So I just need to suck it up. Like I can carry me, but That's you guys much. need me or like not need me per se, but I hear you. You guys need your mom and she's not here anymore. So I'm gonna step in. Yeah, I need to step in and we need to carry each other. It's like this is how we're going to survive mm. like it's the only way out so you know that's how i see it like we have each other yo that's heavy that's it <laughs> that's heavy that is really heavy yeah. and i mean it's something we've obviously spoken about before and i think i have kind of also told you that you're not supposed to carry all of that mm. but we can't make you not carry that mm. you have to get to that place that's on your own you yeah. know but yeah, that's that's kind of heavy. So far since this year started, <laughs> how has God carried you to this point? God guys carrying me right now. <laughs> right now. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. The moment we started recording this video, your girl got anxious. I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can. You know, and hey, God is good. You know, he has. I'm literally being carried by God through this whole thing and I realized his goodness he's carried me in every way financially emotionally mentally whatever way that God could possibly carry me he has carried me this year um I don't know I look at myself sometimes like I look at a picture that I took me and I'm just like how are you radiating so much strength so much love so much joy and just peace you're oozing peace but that's not what's going on in your head yeah. right you just cry yourself to sleep babe how are you how are you doing this right and then i just realized that even when i am weak you are strongest you know i realized that i am at the end of me but because i'm at the end of me that's where god starts like sure i'm telling you you can see i'm sure you guys are going to notice like as i date back with the videos you're gonna notice how I look in the beginning of the other videos like I look sad like I look like what I'm going through at the time of those videos and then you're just gonna see like life kind of just mm. spark back into my eyes and so on and I'm like that could only be God only God can like carry you that way so oh my god God has carried me bro in through it all because sometimes you're like bro I just sinned terribly like I am the worst and God is just like you are my worst I will work with this. I'm working with this mess and that's okay. So, yeah. Okay, that's um, nice. Tell me, how do you navigate friend drama hmm. <laughs> in your life? Because why, why here's the thing, right? <laughs> here's the thing, right? Um, we're alike, right? 
and we um tuongo vandu man right tuongo vandu we are people's people right you you really um, i know like just a few seconds ago like the video is going to rewind now the thing of like I okay i don't like people yeah i said that i don't like people but regardless of that people still gravitate towards us people still gravitate because they it's kind of like they just see past the whole act of you don't like people mm. to that whole thing so how do you navigate relationships that are difficult like in friendship like how do you do it cuz i'm struggling bro maybe you can teach me huh? i can't teach you jack <laughs> <laughs> with my friends hmm. i feel like sometimes i pour from an empty cup it's a problem so i can't learn from you you know the same yeah no and then i completely block all my friends and then go about my life and then eventually then i'll start feeling guilty and then i'll maybe pop in and say hi how are you although in my hearts of hearts i do not want to send the text mm. but because i know that hey they're here for a reason you got to do what you got to do and if you are not going to say anything they also not going to say anything mm. and then you are the same people so do better yeah It's so when it comes to drama like that i I'm always the bigger person. So I always have to wear my big girl pants. Suck it up and show up. I'm weird clearly dealing with things in a very unhealthy way. Um so what do you mean? Um it works. Here <laughs> Just because it works doesn't mean that it's right. So to say. Okay. Right? So how would you have gone about I, I don't know better. But I realize <laughs> that we are not doing it better. Because Um I do realize that you're not doing it better. Um those of you guys who this is a part where you comment how you deal with this and maybe we yeah. can learn from you guys in the comments or yeah you know we'll see a life coach about this because we clearly need help. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's I hear you. I it's something I struggle with as well. Like I'm also not a cut off people mm-hmm. type of person so I'm not gonna um bro juices you are stealing too much energy from me. I'm out. I'm cutting you off. I don't do that. I don't cut people off. I'd rather you just cut yourself out, which is also kind of a cowardice move mm. because you're like you want to cut the person off, why don't you cut them off, right? Mm. So, and I pride myself in I've never had a friendship breakup or yara yara. Mm. But that's not something to be proud of if you are having a toxic relationship with somebody. If it needs to end, it needs to end. If you're not good for each other, you're not good for each other. If you're not serving one another, you're not serving one another. And that's okay. But how to go about it is what i struggle with mm. yeah okay now i'll ask you the one thing i always ask what's the one thing mm-hmm. that this year mm-hmm. that you have gone through on your own that i do not know oh, that this. i do not know it's absolutely nothing <laughs> really that i have gone through this year yeah that you don't know about mm-hmm. this year yeah Something that you're just battling on your own that I'm not aware of. No, nothing. No ways. Oh my god. This spe- so this boring. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> this specific year, yeah. nothing. Okay. This specific year there's just absolutely nothing that I could have mm. gone through that I'm not aware of. That you're not aware of. Hmm. Yeah, no, no ways. Nothing. Okay, question. Mm. How do you separate he she the individual and he she the content person Cuz I know you no, are I, I think you should answer that <laughs> That's a very good question for yourself Here yeah. yeah that's a very good question Okay but you should also answer it yeah answer it after, 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 after you No I asked you first no, I'm, yes. This is a bonus question This is a bonus question that I'm answering because you're asking Okay, okay so but, this will be the last question Okay then for the both of us and then we close okay. it off Okay then you go Um he Yo, bro. My Instagram and who I am in real life are two different things. <laughs> I lie a lot on my Instagram. The girl that you guys see there, it ain't me. Nothing. It's not me. <laughs> okay, let's it's not say girl. nothing. Okay, mm. Mm-mm, don't say nothing. Okay, 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 okay. That's a lie. Um, okay, it's what? See, you're lying now already. Okay, I'm the lying. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Uh, 
the other girl is perfect. I appears perfect. Appears to be perfect. But, but not then this one. Okay, but it's fine. I make a nice speak. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, My, I'm, I'm, I'm very the protector. This okay. Okay, so the person that I portray to be on my Instagram is this. You know, she got her stuff together. Like, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> And you know, nice pictures that I've has to edit, nice captions, <laughs> that girl. And then this girl, the real life girl is, she doesn't know who she is most of the time. Mm -hmm. Most of the time she does not even know what she's doing, but then she's still like moving because I'm on <laughs> autopilot or what now. Oh. So... <laughs> I feel like the person that I portray to be on my Instagram on my or my socials is that I know what I'm doing. Like I know who I am, you know, all of those things. But then in real life I'm like we need to figure out who you are. Mm. So I guess that's that. Okay. That's that's interesting. Mm. Um How do I navigate between the two? That was the question. I my Instagram, for instance, right, is my photo album, right? It's curated, right? Mm -hmm. It's what I want to look back at, the happy moments that I want to look back at. And even if it's something like grieving, like dealing with a loss or whatever, even in posting it there, I still want it to be, to be pretty, mm -hmm. to look back at it, but look at it, it shouldn't be miserable. Mm. so to say so my instagram it's it's still who i am it's part of who i am but i'm not gonna post um what am I, I can't say. i'm not gonna post she and i fighting on my instagram because oh i'm authentic i'm yara yara that doesn't mean i am not i am inauthentic but my instagram is curated it's a curated feed that I like it. I like to look at it. I'm like, oh, you pretty page. Like, it makes me happy. It's a place where I wish people can just go to go, like, draw inspiration and make it, and you know, yeah. be cute, right? So that's my Instagram. And uh, my YouTube space is like a personal diary, right? Mm. Where I um, post things that matter to me in the time that I feel like I'm ready to post it as well, right? So I could be, I mean, it could be like, oh, I finally want to talk about how it felt losing my mom. I've never spoken about that on here, right? Because I'm not ready for that conversation, right? But like, when I'm ready to have that conversation, then I'm going to come here and sit and like speak about it so that I know that I, I can look back at this and be like, oh, remember how you felt how many years ago about whatever. So um, what I'm trying to say is that there's a vehe in the moment things that I'm going through in the moment and they over here on social media. Those are two different people. I could have posted now uh, a cocktail, but deep down me I was having a coffee. It's two different things. It's two different people. Or you, you know? had it like three, three days ago or three months ago. Guys, I've been, been posting Cape Town content and I've been back for weeks. Yeah, she's back. I've been back for she's weeks. Been Someone anymore. literally said that when we went out. It's like, she, what she, what am I get on her? My point exactly. So my thing is like I also feel like it's so important for people to realize that just because we are on social media doesn't mean that you are entitled to know everything that we are going through or that we are walking through in this journey. We will share what we feel like sharing when we feel like sharing it, right? You can't pester it out of us. So to say, you can comment until you're blue in the face. If I don't want to answer, I won't answer. Do you get where I'm coming from? So I feel like it's like that. I I I'd like I would like to like remove the two from each other. Like mm -hmm. I am a vehe and I'm a person, right? I am a vehe and I'm a creator. Mm -hmm. Those are two different people, right? And it's so good to to just know the boundaries. Like let's have boundaries. Let's just yeah. I think that's what I'm navigating now. Yeah. Like a little bit of like a hey, boundaries. Yeah. Stop here. Hold up, hold up. And I think that's something that I've been saying as well, that whole thing of like clocking people's whatever. When you should, have you graduated yet? Have you what, what, what? Don't do that. Let the people tell you when they're ready. Yeah. Type of thing. My pace. My race. 
Mm-hmm. Very like, scary. Yes. Can I just see the author? At my own pace, yeah. one step at a time. So whenever I'm ready to share whatever it is, I'm ready to share whatever it is. Whenever I'm ready to do this, I'm ready to do this. Because it's the same thing, like, even with the constant questions. I'm like, oh, are you not going to do pranks on your channel? Whenever I'm ready, I'll do the pranks. If I'm never ready, I'll never do the pranks. Type of thing. You know? This whole thing, the whole my brand, Avi Mabel, is for me. And I'm, I take great pride and joy in the fact that you guys absolutely enjoy my content. But you guys should always remember that I'm doing it for me. You know, I'm doing it for me. Yeah, and, and my nieces and my family so that they can one day look back and be like, Oh, remember how small Mumu was? Remember how whatever, you know? It's great that you guys enjoy the content. I appreciate it. I appreciate that you guys support it. But ultimately, it's a for me type of thing. So yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we will see you next time bye bye how go what is that i don't know bro i i feel like i'm out of practice